we have our cups all outlined on our canvas with the white uh, chalk. I went back over just so you guys could see better. I know I did it with the uh, carbon paper first, but I wanted you to be able to see the lines um, while I'm painting. So I was able to go over with just a piece of white chalk. I just re-outlined around the outside so that the lines were better um, to be seen. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to start painting. Um, I'm going to begin with probably the bottom cup first, and then we'll work our way up to the top. Um, so come on, join me and uh, let's start painting. Okay, so we are going to start with some turquoise, some white, some yellow, and some black. And I'm going to start with the bottom mug. Um, we might even throw a little bit of the nectarine orange in there as well. And so I am just squirting some of this paint onto my ice cream lid. I use the ice cream lid as a palette because it's just easier to clean off later. And um, it's big enough that I can get the paint on there that I need and it just works really really well. I have three brushes that I'm using. I have a smaller flat brush and two round brushes. One's a real tiny outlining brush. The other one is a regular round brush. Um, I like those for oops. I like those for um, just being able to do different things at different times how I need them. So I'm starting with the white. I'm going in with my small brush and I'm just filling in the little daisy petals with the round brush. And you know, colors can always be changed. You don't always need to have the same colors that I'm choosing. These are just the colors that I like, um, but these are the colors that we'll use for instructions. Of course, I always encourage you to do your own ideas if you want to. Um, I'm just putting a good coat of the white on the petals. Now, I'm using a black canvas, and the black canvas sometimes shows through the paint, depending on what color I'm using. Some people like the black showing through. It gives it just another little layer of interest. Other people do not. So I like black canvases because it makes your colors pop. Um, it makes them look brighter. I also tend to um, use a little bit of an outlining technique when I do my work. Um, it's just kind of my style that I do. And so it's kind of nice that the black canvas is already there. And I don't need to worry about outlining because it's already done for me. But if you do not like the black canvas showing through, you can do a double layer of paint and that will that will cover up the black that's showing through. Again, it's kind of a choice thing. But I really like black canvases. You'll see a lot of the tutorials and things that I do that use black, a black background. I just like the way it makes paint look when it's painted on it. I think it just makes the colors look brighter. Now you may see some of the chalk marks still around. That's okay. I can just go back and erase them off. Just wipe them off, whatever. It's just chalk. And again, I just did the chalk marks just so that you could better see the lines while I'm painting, just so you know what I'm doing. go just finishing up those white petals I'm also going to come on over here I'm going to do black and white stripes on the mug handle
So I'm also gonna use some of the white for that and just going every other, I'm gonna do black and white stripes. I have a little cup of water and a paper towel here that I'm washing my brush out on so I don't have to keep running all the time to go wash out my brush. I'm gonna use yellow for the centers for now, but we're gonna be, I'm gonna be adding some of that orange color to it later once it's dry. Now, I don't like to wait. I'm impatient when it comes to wanting to just keep working. So what I will do is I will use a hair dryer to dry the paint so I don't have to sit and wait for it. It's really slick, it works fast. Um, I can go right on and start working right away. I like it a lot. So I have those flowers done. I'm gonna go in very carefully with my teal. I'm gonna go around everything. Remember, you can always go back and touch it up later if you need to. I'm using the small brush because that's what I feel comfortable using. You can, of course, always use a different brush that you have that's a favorite or that you like to use instead. It always works. Whatever way works best for you is what I suggest. And sometimes if you're more of a beginner painter, lots of times you're going to need um, to play around with some different kinds of brushes to figure out which brushes you like the best. Because everybody has their favorite types that they like to work with. So I'm just going in and around things. You can see I'm kind of leaving a black line. That's just the look that I like. Bring that paint around. So, there we go. So we've got that bottom part filled in. I'm just gonna go over this little spot here, just a little better. There we go. I'm going to go in with a little bit of that uh, nectarine orange. I'm gonna do the stripes at the top. With the nectarine. And then I'll go in and add a little bit of the nectarine inside the yellow centers, just a little bit. Um, just to repeat that color is just kind of a good idea. To repeat colors, um, it just brings everything together and unifies your piece a little bit more. Um, there's variety, but yet it's unified, so that's really what we like to go for. There we go. I'm also going to use a little bit of the orange on the inside of my mug, where the two mugs meet. I'm going to see just part of the inside lip of this bottom mug right there. Um, where it kind of curves around. So I'm gonna make sure that I have that covered. Oh, let's see. Let's bring some of this yellow in here. And I think with that part, I'm gonna switch over to my flat brush. I think with that part, I am going to end up going back over again um, with some more paint just to cover that up just a little bit. Like I said, I don't mind black 
um, canvas showing through, but when it's a lot, I kind of don't like that. I want a better, brighter color. So and usually it's the really, really light colors that show that canvas through. So if I'm not working super thick, then I need to go back and fix that. There we go. Uh, let me, let's hit this with the hair dryer quick. So I am just using the hair dryer real quickly. Just to dry that paint so I can move on. Kind of a little trick. But it really works well. We can go back in and hit that right away with that yellow and you can see how the second layer really makes a huge difference. Sometimes what you can do also is add just a smidge of white to a light color like that, like the yellow, and it will make it so it's not quite so translucent. It'll make it more opaque. Just like so. Okay. I'm going to go in with my small brush. I'm going to add a little bit of the orange to those inside centers. So that way I repeat that orange down in the smug a little bit. Like that. And this is one up here, so I'm going to go back and catch this one a little. There we go. Also, I'm going to go back and re hit up this black that I lost. I'm going to touch that up right away. And just kind of touch up around some other areas that might be missing a little bit of that black around the edges. There's never a big deal with making a mistake or accidentally missing a part. You can always go back and fix it later. It's really not a big deal. All right. We're going to wait to do highlights and shadows just because um, I like to wait till everything is totally dry. So I'm going to let this dry. So what we're going to do next is we are going to start working on this mug and I'm going to choose some different colors for that one.